when Hitler came, my childhood ended. On two fateful days in November 1938, a wave of violent anti-Jewish attacks swept through Nazi Germany, Austria, and parts of Czechoslovakia. What happened in, in Vienna was a pogrom, you know. You know what a pogrom is. It's a, a bloody persecution of Jews. This is my family, my grandparents, victims of the Holocaust, dead before I was born, like other relatives I never met. They took away everything you had, everything. I was frightened, everybody was. So my father said, time to go. This is the story of a community of exiles who found refuge in an unknown country, a distant land called Ecuador. People really did not know where the country was. What is Ecuador? It's tropical. There is a mountain called Timurazo and there are woods that are eucalyptus. That was all I knew about Ecuador. We had to open the frontiers, go into farming, to about the Amazonas, a subtropical rainforest. My father, who was a lawyer, was very concerned. For my parents, this was a very scary adventure. At first, uh, you suffer culture shock so different from what we knew in Europe. Well, the class differences in Ecuador, at least in those days, were tremendous. Hungry children, barefoot children, was a common sight in, at that time. At the beginning, everybody was sick. Everybody. There were diseases like malaria, typhoid fever, tuberculosis, hepatitis. These insects, the grillos. They coated the streets, millions of insects. And uh, not only that, uh, every night we had to go around with a flashlight to um, ex exterminate the scorpions. All you're holding on to is your cultural heritage, your identity as a European, as a Jew. And suddenly you're in an environment which is about 180 degrees the opposite. The opportunities when first arriving in Ecuador were very limited economically. But what's amazing, within a few years, uh, they were able to really raise themselves up. Most of the European Jews who came to Ecuador did things which in Europe they didn't do, but they had to adjust to the local economy. There was a semi-European atmosphere among them. They created an environment that was compatible with their memories. We opened our suitcases and took out our culture that we had brought with us. And that worked for us. I often think of what they had to leave, the people they had to leave, the life they had to leave, how they came with nothing, the hardships they had, grateful for the life they made for themselves, but still mourn the fact that, that they were displaced. That they were able to overcome that in a new culture, in a new world, learn the language, and uh, succeed. That, to me, is a great example of the human spirit really overcoming great tragedy.